Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. Um that's basically all you need to know about me for this video. Today we are going to be talking about advice for like going into high school or if you're already in high school, just general survival tips. I knew I wanted to do a high school advice video, but I was trying to figure out a way to make it like interesting and like spice it up a little bit. So what I decided to do is to reach out to my friends and ask them what they wish they knew either going into high school or just while they were in high school. So these are all tips from my close friends, which are all just the sweetest people and I love them dearly. Um, so you should definitely take this advice. So I have my little typed up document. These are not all the tips that my friends told me, but just some of them. I think I'm gonna make a part two. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. A little bit about me in high school. Um, I flew under the radar, definitely. I didn't have that many friends and I wasn't in a ton of like extracurriculars. I was in a few clubs, especially towards the end of high school, but I kind of just didn't do much. I went to two homecomings, I went to prom, um, I didn't really go to football games. It just wasn't my scene and I didn't really feel the pressure to kind of conform and do all the high school things. I did my own thing. And I was also super busy with academics and AP classes, and then I also danced competitively for three out of the four years in high school. So I was busy doing other stuff. I wasn't really like concerned about socializing. Um, that's just me though, you can do what you want. But I definitely was not popular like by any stretch. I just, like I said, flew under the radar. I had my little group, stuck to my group, did my thing. I was happy, I survived. Was not the best four years of my life, but you know what? Anyone who says it is, I don't trust them. <laughs> so yeah, that was me in high school. A little picture of me, which was honestly only like three years ago, but whatever. The first one is perfect grades aren't everything, which like, yes, is so true. Like, I wish I would have learned this earlier. Even today, I have a hard time like grasping this idea. Like, I understand that they're not the most important part of school but I have a hard time like internalizing it still um yeah but grades really truly are not everything and I know it feels like it especially in high school like if you're trying to get into college if that's like the path you want to take grades are important and I don't want you to undermine the importance of them and the importance of like working hard and just learning which at the end of the day is what you're there to do but don't let them stress you out too much. A huge part of high school is also like meeting new people, making new friends, and just socializing and just figuring out like who you are, what you wanna do. So it's really important to have the balance. You don't want too much socializing, but you also don't wanna um, do school and that's basically it. So the second one is find people who empower you, which I love, I love the word empower, first of all. I think it's just a general rule for life. Find people who really make you feel good and don't worry all about being in like the popular crowd because that doesn't really matter. It only matters like if you make it matter in your head, if that makes sense. Um, Cause especially after high school, I mean, nobody's gonna remember you except for like the people you hung out with. So you may as well hang out with people who you love and who love you and who support you and are going to be there for you on the other side of your obstacles when you're going through a hard time. So the third one is to make mistakes because that's the time in your life when you're supposed to do a lot of learning and growing and I completely agree with this because when you're 14, 15, 16, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to screw up, you're going to do stuff that you regret and stuff that you kind of just wish never happened. I think ultimately not being too hard on yourself is the goal of this one because we're all going to screw up. Even when you're out of high school and you're in college and you're like off in the real world doing your thing, you're going to screw up and you're going to make mistakes and that's really the whole point of life is to screw up and then learn from your mistakes and grow and improve so especially in high school i don't think people give themselves the grace to mess up but i mean it happens as long as you learn and you grow that's all that matters the fourth one which i also love i love all of these but um this one says relationships formed in high school might not last forever but it's worth it because you meet people you form bonds with for a reason 
That is so true. Even like outside of high school, you meet people for a reason. And I personally believe this. Even if someone you meet seems insignificant in your life, chances are you have learned from that bond and that relationship, whether it was like romantic or friendships or family members, and whether those relationships have like lasted a long time or they have not gone well, they have ultimately served you and served your life so that you can continue on. They might not last forever, but they definitely have helped you and they're there for a reason. The fifth tip is to ask your counselor questions which I definitely did not take advantage of, but I kind of wish I would have. First two years of high school, I didn't have a great counselor, and then the last two years, I had a better counselor, and he was helpful, and I wish I would have had that like freshman year, sophomore year. I think this is a really good test, because at the end of the day, they're literally there to help you. Like That is why they're there, so you may as well take advantage of it. And something my friend added onto this one too is that you can email them if your preferred method of communication is writing. I think it's like good to kind of put yourself out of your comfort zone and maybe eventually meet with them in person, but if you're just scared of that initial like breaking the ice, I think they'll be really excited if you contact them. Even if it seems like something silly and insignificant, it can really help to have a neutral point of view to help you figure out like whether it's with classes or scheduling or just college stuff they're there to help you so you may as well take advantage of those resources the next one is to not feel pressure to go to like school events more specifically homecoming and prom i can relate to this one um i went to two homecomings and then i went to prom i honestly don't feel like I missed out by not going to two homecomings. I definitely wanted to go to prom, but then the homecoming was kind of like, I didn't get like super soaked for it. So I kind of just like didn't go because I didn't want to and I didn't really feel the pressure to go. So if you genuinely don't want to go, like don't go. Yeah, if you don't have to go to like every single event and you shouldn't like feel the pressure that you have to go. Um, and if your friends are pressuring you, then just tell them, hey, like, I don't want to go, and that's a good enough reason. You don't need some grand excuse. The next one is a very practical tip, which is also something probably I would recommend to you, and it's before presentations, just take the time to, like, breathe and relax and just remind yourself that you are capable and you will survive and come out the other side, even if it just feels like the worst thing you've ever done. As I went through high school, especially, I got better at presentations. It's just like one of those things where the more you do it, the more you get used to it, and then you're kind of just not like afraid of it anymore. Pro tip, okay, not pro tip, because I'm not a pro, but like tip. Um, when you're up there presenting, nobody is listening, except for like probably the teacher and maybe like three people. Everyone else is panicking thinking, oh my god, like, my presentation is coming up. What am I going to say? How am I going to screw up? They're just worrying about themselves. It's just one of those things where you just have to buckle up and push through it and breathe and just remind yourself that you are capable. And this is another time when affirmations are helpful as well. This next one, I also just love so much. And I preach this all the time because it's so true. At least it's been true for my life. And it's don't feel pressure to have a huge friend group. For me, it's always been quality over quantity. I have a pretty small social circle, but the people that are in it are just the most like loyal and sweet and loving, compassionate and kind people. Especially when you go into college, it's hard to keep in contact with people because you really have to put forth an effort. And it's really like work to have friendships when you don't see the people every day, but it's definitely worth it. As long as you have that solid core group of friends, honestly, that's all you need. The next one is don't worry so much about tests and presentations, especially when you know you're going to do well. And I can relate to this so much because I have this thing where I like overstudy for tests and presentations because I feel like I'm not going to do well, even though I know deep down I'm going to do fine. And just know that if you have tried your best, if you've put in the work, and if you know the information, then you're going to do fine. And even if you mess up a little bit it's not going to affect the rest of your life sometimes you will work hard and you won't do well it's important to understand that the rest of your life will not be determined by any single thing so that is everything i have for you today like i said my friends are just the best and they have the best advice always for me and now for you i hope this helped you in some way whether you're going into high school or you're in high school already or even if you're just like 
living life and you're not in high school, I think this is just good life tips in general. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And also check out my Instagram. I'm on there a lot more than like any other of my social medias. So if you want like updates, like live updates, stories, and then I also do my really long captions. Um, feel free to join me over there. That's where I hang out most of the time. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.